All right, when you are the D, now I'm going to do two things here. When you are the D and when somebody else is the D from a leadership perspective, I'm going to do this with each of the styles. We'll go through this very quickly because you have notes on this. Uh, when you are the D, all right, so I'm giving you specific recommendations. Allow other people to finish things without butting in because all too often you'll delegate something, you'll look over somebody's shoulder, and if they're not doing it quickly enough or the way you think it should be done, you, you butt in. Wait, wait, wait. Do, no, don't do it that way. Do it this way. Uh, participate in any kind of team or group without always have to being the boss or in charge. Uh, modify your tendency to give orders to other people. Praise when people do a good job. Now here is the irony, ladies and gentlemen, if you know anybody in this D group, the Ds actually think compliments. They don't always say them, but you think them. All I'm asking you to do is every time you think a compliment, verbalize it. We find that one of the few times you actually hear a D say well done is when they order a steak. When you think a compliment, actually say it. Now, I'm telling you this from experience. I have learned to not just think compliments, but now to say them more frequently. And when you delegate to people, don't always look over their shoulder uh, to see if they're doing things right. When you delegate, delegate the authority to make a decision along with the responsibility of doing it. Uh, but when you're managing these, now here's a key thing, when you're managing these, Help them learn to gauge risk, because you're, you're definitely a big risk taker. Uh, exercise caution and deliberation before you make decisions. You don't always make decisions before all the info is in because of your need to get things out of the way and move on to the next thing. Uh, get them to follow the rules, to stay within the bounds of what's acceptable and what's not. Uh, to ask other people for input, suggestions, rather than unilaterally making decisions. Are you following this? What, I, what I'm suggesting is I'm, I'm telling each group what you should do because that is your style, but when you are managing somebody else's style. And th this one here is for everybody when managing these. And when you're managing these, coach them to actually tell people why they make decisions. Because sometimes they make a decision and they don't explain to people why the decision was made. Now, C's, are C's. When you are the C, modify your criticism. Because when people are not doing what you think they should be doing or they're not doing it the way you think it should be done, sometimes you criticize. And it isn't always spoken. Sometimes it's just a look on your face. We know you're being critical. Uh, and check only the critical things. You do not have to check everything. Everything does not have to be perfect. The things that need to be perfect, make them perfect. The other things, give a little bit of slack. Engage in more water cooler conversation. In other words, be a little bit more social with your coworkers. Can have high standards without being perfect and tone down your tendency to over prepare. Now, for everybody, when you're managing the C's, help them share their knowledge and expertise because they know a lot. Have them share it with everybody else, especially everybody else on the team. Have them stand up for themselves. Oftentimes when you disagree, you keep it to yourself because you like to avoid conflict. Shoot for realistic deadlines rather than paralysis by analysis or always getting a perfect 100%. Keep on course, timelines. Uh, and again, I'm repeating pretty much what I said in uh, uh, number four. Maintain high expectations for high priority, not everything. Now our S's, this is for you, the S's. Uh, stretch beyond your comfort zone, all right? Take on a little bit more risk than you normally do. Speed up your actions, all right? Jump into things a little bit quicker. Everything doesn't have to be just perfect before you start something. Uh, and this is a tough thing for you, is to desensitize, desensitize your feelings, because your feelings get hurt easier than any other style in this room. Adapt quickly to changes and bolster your assertiveness. Speak up. If you're thinking no, but saying yes, 
say no. You're not saying no to the person. You're saying no to what they're asking you to do. That's all it is. Now, everybody, when you're managing an S, you try to coach them to utilize some shortcuts uh, to avoid doing things the same way every single time. Uh, be a little bit more of a risk taker. Speak up when they either agree or disagree with something and, and that they won't hurt somebody's feelings doing so and to modify their tendency to always do what other people ask them or tell them to do. And our eyes, when you are the eye, improve your follow through, uh, write things down and work from a list, prioritize your activities, focus on the tasks in their order of importance as opposed to just crossing things off the list to get them done because it's quick. Uh, Get the less appealing things out of the way earlier in the day and pay attention to your time management. Now, everybody else, when you're managing an eye, and even the eyes when you're managing another eye, get them to prioritize, to organize, to actually complete things. Do less, but complete more. Uh, write things down. I am either blessed or cursed with the fact that I have four children and you know where I'm going with this, don't you? Four kids, a D, an I, an S, and a C. I have all four styles. And one of the things with my I child is trying to get her to write things down because she's constantly forgetting or missing deadlines because she forgets. And she forgets because she doesn't write it down. Uh, focus on what's important right now and avoid procrastinating things, hoping that other people are going to do it for you. All right.